Hey, what's up? Today, I'm going to be cleaning up this apple mint bed and I'll be propagating the apple mint as well as my peppermint over here. I might be planting something different in this area of my yard, so I want to relocate all of this mint. So I'll show you. This is the peppermint right here. I'll be showing you how to propagate this. It's, it's fairly simple and I'll propagate both types of mint the same way. Um, this bed needs to be cleaned out. This is in April after the winter so there hasn't been a lot of growth but being that it's beginning to get warmer there will be a lot of growth soon. Please excuse me it's kind of windy so bear with the quality as you may hear the wind affecting how this how the audio in this video might be but as you can see this is the mint that I'll be taking cuttings from and I'll be propagating these you can just stick it in like a glass or a cup of water and within about a week week and a half you should see roots but I actually got some little trays which I will be feeling that will be better to grow a root system and I'll just be showing you how I use that to propagate these mints. In this video, these are the things that I'll be using to help propagate. I have some rooting hormone. And I'm just going to reiterate, it's not necessary that you use this, but because I'm trying to get the best results, I will be using the rooting hormone. And this is just, this is just a... Uh, a water bottle that I cut in half and I'll just be putting the water in there because see these trays that I bought like I'm gonna turn it on the side and I'm pretty sure you could buy something like this at Best Buy, Walmart, any garden center etc etc so there we go inside of this little tray are these spoon these sponge type fillings now what we do is we will take the cutting we'll put it into here right and then and you see this just comes out and this is biodegradable so once the roots um, begin to fill out this area in here and I see them coming out of the bottom where you see the holes are I will take the whole fixture and the plant out and transplant that into the ground or the pot But this is one of the best ways if you want to increase the amounts of roots because you know a plant and its root system is very important to the success of the plant going on to do well in the future. I also feel to mention that I will be, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing some makeshift stuff right here. But in order to create that humidity dome type effect, I will be using this pastry pan and cover. So you can have that nice, nice humidity effect on the cutting. So that's going to help the roots root faster. So you can see over here, I've gone ahead and I've put the water into the little container here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the rooting hormone. I'll mix that in with my finger. Not trying to get too much out of here. It should be enough. So what I'll do is I'll fill these containers right here, the ones, the first ones I showed you, the pods. And then I will dip the whole thing in here. And then I'll rest it back in here. Then I'll ultimately have to cut this into some different sizing because this is a long, long row of pods here. And then I will sit them in there. So, 
I think it's about time that I go out and get my cutting. So I will be doing, I can't really say for sure because I haven't counted how many I have. But I will be filling the pods equally with both types of mints. Okay, so I've got my cuttings that I want to use. So now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to prep the cuttings to put into these trays for propagation. So this right here, this is the this is the peppermint, and this is the apple mint. So I'm going to bring those over here and start to prepare those. I'll probably prepare the peppermints first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it at an angle right above one of the joints and then I'm going to cut off the leaves on the lower end of it. And then at the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these leaves in half so it can promote, promote sorry, root growth. So this is what the cutting would look like before I put it in here. So what I'm going to do is prepare all of these for the peppermints and then all of these here's one I did already for the apple mint and then I will insert all of them into these trays okay so now I've prepped both sets of mints to be put in position so they can further the propagation process um, this is just the leaves of the peppermint that I had pruned off and this is the leaves of the apple mint that I pruned off and this is what I've left of the cuttings where I cut it and I trimmed the leaves at the top because what that does is it promotes root it promotes root growth. So I did that with both sets. I did that with the apple mint also. Let's get one here so you can see. See how I cut the top leaves and I cleared all of the remaining leaves from the stem. So now i'll proceed to put all of these cuttings into the incision that was already provided me doing that for both sets the apple mint and the peppermint then I'll show you how I'm going to separate this whole tray in half and maybe cut them in four quarters and then I'll put them into the the baking container that I showed you earlier for it to have the full, the full greenhouse or humidity dome effect.
now that I have um, all of the cuttings in position, being that I did the cuttings to whereas I have the peppermint in this row and I have the apple mint in this row, what I'm going to do is take a pair of scissors and I will cut right down the middle and then I will cut both of those rows in half because remember we're going to put it into that container that that baking container so there we go I'm going to cut down the middle to separate the two types of mints but also I'm separating them like this because they can't fit into that container because this is just too long. I'll definitely be buying some more of these. Um, I bought this from a local store here in Bermuda called Gorms. I really find these to be find them to be pretty resourceful and it's definitely going to make propagating these very simple so like I said I want to measure to make sure that this will fit properly otherwise I'll have to cut them differently so I'll put these two aside And I'm using a baking pan, I know. I know. I should have some better equipment. However, right now, I'm not gonna let that stop me. So, yeah, about halfway, I can fit four different rows in here. So, that's what I'm going to do. I believe there's 17. 17 di different parts so the middle will be difficult to determine because it's not an even number let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so if it was 8 it would be 16 I mean I'm sorry if it was 8, 16 it would be 8 if it was 18 it would be 9 but I guess it'll be between 8 and 9, so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll cut it between these rows right there. Oops. So there we go, we have two rows of the apple. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll cut it in here. Now we have two rows of the peppermint and two rows of the apple mint. And I will just put these in here. So, however, we're not finished. Remember, you have to water these in order to get the roots to to start being produced. So remember, we had this rooting hormone, which I will dip all of these individually and so that's what I'll do now
Well, now I've folded in all of the cuttings and they're ready to be placed in a area so that these cuttings can grow the roots. It should only take about maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks before we should see the roots starting to come from the bottom of these trays. So when I turn it like that, I should see roots coming out of the bottom. Um, we've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoy watching it. I hope you enjoyed the tips and you might decide that you want to propagate some of your mint plants for whatever reason. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like or a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.